I'm John Hillcock, this is the Virgin Red Room, and I'm very pleased and proud to say that we are joined by Funeral Party. James, Chemo and Chad, thank you very much for joining me here in these very hey. plush offices. How are you guys, all right? <laughs> Good. Good. Yeah, right. Feeling good. So you, you oh, was it seven a.m. yesterday? You landed in London, is that right? Or this morning? Was it? Uh, yeah, it was seven a.m. yesterday. <laughs> yes, yeah, yesterday. So you, you're kind of a bit zoned out. So what time do you feel like it is now? Uh, For the well, record, it's ten past three in the afternoon. We kind of got used to you know doing the whole regimen of like making yourself like sleep later and actually fall asleep on time. Yeah, some of us. <laughs> <laughs> that brings me on to a question who is the most uh, responsible member of the of the band when you're on the road who who is the guy the who looks after the other people yeah the driver chat <laughs> yeah the driver oh, oh he literally is the driver yeah. i thought you meant metaphorically okay <laughs> no no who's the worst who's the most irresponsible member our, dr- of our drummer a drummer yeah he's really bad <laughs> okay really where is he now uh god only knows. yeah god only we knows. don't know where he's at yeah. <laughs> you literally don't know where he is do you no, we really don't. You're painting a picture of Tim here. I don't know if he's going to be happy about it. Once you've done your uh, your UK dates, you're heading out into uh, the rest of Europe to do loads of festivals. Does the uh, being at the start of a huge series of dates like that does it kind of do you find it daunting or exciting or sort of a bit of both? Um, it's pretty exciting. I mean, um, you know, we always like festivals. Uh, we played Reading and, and Leeds last year, and that was like our first time, and it was really cool. So to go back and do it again is always, you know, a privilege and an honor. And um, then we get to play festivals we haven't played yet. You know, some in Germany. Um, we're playing Japan again, which is super awesome too. When we get to go to Australia, which is amazing. When you are playing shows, it, it, it's an intense experience for you and the audience. It's this exchange of energy. But do you ever let your concentration slip and think of other things while you're on stage? And if so, yeah. what are the oddest things you've ever thought about while you're on stage? No, it's yep. a lot. And like, I wonder, like, I. If I have, like, changed to go do my laundry after this. Or, <laughs> yeah. you know, like, just something really random. Random thoughts, yeah. James, when yep. you go on autopilot, <laughs> any similar thoughts like that? Um, yeah, a lot of the times I think about, like, what what's my family doing right now? Like, sometimes it's that. Sometimes it's, uh, like, what am I going to eat tonight? I don't know. It's funny. But it's not usually while I'm playing. It's usually during interludes. Uh, okay. So, okay. Just to cut, clear yeah. that one Because it's... Yeah. For me to think about things while I'm playing is really kind of difficult. It's like I have to be focused. What were your formative bands when you were 15, 16? What, were the, what was the music you were obsessed with? Modest Mouse. Definitely Old Modest Mouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Radiohead. There was a lot of Radiohead going on when I was 15. Okay, so, I mean, they're bands that have... Uh, changed a lot over the years how about your music do you think it will change in in similar ways you think it's important to change as a band or will you uh, maintain that sort of hardcore mentality and root to what you do at all times change is always in our heads it's like any good art always changes um yeah and all the bands that we like they've all kind of progressed some for better some for worse but they still progressed Uh, i don't think we want to be a band that puts out the same album you know five times Mm. Last year, you were named as one of the top 50 bands to watch out for in 2010 and then 2011. Mm-hmm. Uh, that, that kind of hype, um, is it a dangerous thing? Is it a good thing? Or have you felt, uh, felt a negative effect from that? You get things like the top 50 bands of 2010, 2011, and then you get, oh, they sucked at this show. And then and you get, <laughs> oh, they were amazing at this one. And then it's like, it's just make up your mind. <laughs> do, you, do you pay a lot of attention to what people online are saying? Do you read blogs or anything like that? Music blogs? Or? Mm, yeah, it's you're gonna see it. You're gonna re- you're gonna hear about it. And you're gonna read it. But it, what I take from it is mainly like I think we all take just the crit. Like we'll try to see what truths there are to any criticism they they made. And um, I mean, I think that's that's something that a, a band should do. I mean, they should always try to better themselves. You know. Yeah. I mean, you said that you grew up and got together in a relatively uninspiring place, and, and the, the, the sort of main reason for the band was to try and escape that. Um, would you say that you still get drawn back to, you know, when you go home? Do you realise how much actually you missed it more than you thought you would? Oh, I, def- <laughs> I definitely do. It's, be- it's probably because of all our friends. Yeah, friends and family. It's probably what we miss about it. Not necessarily the town yeah. in general. <laughs> have, you, have you now had the chance to learn who your true friends are? 
Yeah, definitely. <laughs> no, it's funny. Like I've gotten that question before of like, uh, do you like, is there any people that have just come out of the woodworks and just been like, hey, ex-girlfriends? Like, yeah. <laughs> and there's definitely been people that I've noticed, you know, in my life that have been like that. But more often than not, I find my friends are solid friends. Has there any been been any jealousy from maybe other bands who you've played with in the past? Oh, and you feel jealousy everywhere when really? you're in a band. It's it's from every it could be even from a person who's interviewing you you know like yeah. it, it's definitely that you know that's always going to be there i'm jealous of your drummer <laughs> he doesn't I'm have jealous. to i'm jealous of him too dude the guy gets to sleep in yeah definitely <laughs> yeah. he seems like we've got the good deal in the band oh guys thank you very much for yeah, no joining problem. us today and uh coming in and good luck with the tour and uh, enjoy the summer thank yeah. you <laughs>